In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can document a 3D part by creating detailed drawings of it. As you can see, I already have a solid part created, and while it looks nice, in order to manufacture it, I'm going to need some detailed drawings. I'm going to switch to a layout tab, and here I have a traditional viewport that was already part of the template. That is actually not what I want for the 3D model, so I'm going to select it and delete it, and I'm going to move to the layout tab. Here on the Layout tab, I'm going to go to the Create View panel and choose the Base View tool. And I want to choose from Model Space since my part is obviously modeled there. Then I'll see a preview of the part. You can choose a different view if you want to start as your base view. If you're not seeing exactly what you want, then the problem might be with the orientation of your original part. And you might need to go back to Model Space and rotate your part in 3D so that the front view is actually the front view. You can also see that I can change the way the part itself looks in this detail view. I can show hidden lines or I can leave them off and I can decide if I want them to be shaded or not. I'm going to accept the default here of hidden lines. I can also control the scale. So AutoCAD looked at this drawing and looked at this part and gave me a scale of one to two. As you can see, I can choose other scales as needed. I'll go ahead and accept one to two. Then you can see the edge visibility. You can control whether or not it creates edges for tangent surfaces. And basically I'll just go ahead and click where I want this view to go. Then if I'm okay with that, I'll go ahead and click the okay button up top here. That will immediately put it into the projected view tool. So here I can go ahead and place my right side view and my top view here. I want to put an isometric view in here, but it doesn't look like it's going to fit. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click and enter to create those particular views. Now let's say I wanted to edit the views. I'm going to go back to the original view here and double click on it. And let's say that I want to have room for some text and dimensions. So I am going to go to a one to four scale for this one. And then I can click okay. As you can see the projected views updated. I can click and drag these with their grips to get them a little bit closer if I want. And I'll go ahead and double click on one of these views so that we can see some of the properties here. You can see that it's hidden lines and it's basically it got that from the parent view, the one I started with. You can see that the scale comes from the parent view as well. Now I can create the isometric view. I'll go ahead and use the projected view tool and select the front view here and then click to place the projected view. Then I can right click and enter. And there is my view. Once again, it created it just like the front view. In this case, it made it with hidden lines. I'll go ahead and either double click on it or select it and go up to edit view. And I will choose to make this one shaded with visible lines. Then I'll click okay. Of course, from here, I can use any of these standard annotation tools to finish documenting this view. I could add in linear dimensions, text notes, whatever it is that I need. And you can see that they will snap just perfectly to the objects there. So once again, after the 3D part has been created, it's just a simple matter of creating the base view, setting the scale and the style, and then creating your projected views. And then of course, doing the detailing itself. That concludes this look at creating detailed drawings of 3D parts in AutoCAD.